Dear colleagues, I am Dr. Bertolo. On behalf of the Young Academic Urologist Renal Cancer Working Party, I am summarizing you our recently published review article about the impacts of renography techniques on the outcomes of partial nephrectomy. In addition to patients' baseline characteristics, technically modifiable factors may affect the vascularized preserved renal parenchyma and thus the ultimate renal function after partial nephrectomy. Renorative techniques during minimally invasive partial nephrectomy have changed over the years. In the early laparoscopic series, the predominant focus of renorography was to ensure hemostasis and closure of the urinary collecting system, avoiding postoperative complications. Nowadays, renorography is also considered an essential determinant of the vascularized preserved parenchymal mass and thus the renal function. Nonetheless, Current guidelines do not provide specific recommendations that renorophy techniques should be tailored according to patient or tumor-related characteristics to maximize parenchymal preservation. This lack of consensus stems from a lack of standardized reporting of the renorophy techniques in the literature. To address this gap, we performed the first systematic review of the literature to provide a detailed overview of the current techniques for renal reconstruction during pure or robot-assisted laparoscopic partial nephrectomy, assessing the impact of suture technique on perioperative outcomes. 67 studies were included in qualitative analysis and 19 were included in the quantitative synthesis. Focusing on the quantitative synthesis, we were able to identify three clusters. Six studies that assessed running versus interrupted suture were considered a significant advantage in terms of operating time, warm ischemia time, and occurrence of postoperative complications and transfusions favored running suture. In the 10 studies that assessed barbed versus non-barbed suture, a significant advantage in terms of operating time, warm ischemia time, and blood loss favored running suture. From the three analyzed studies, a significant advantage in terms of operating time and warm ischemia time favor the single layer technique without leading to increased blood loss and rate of postoperative complications. In summary, while surgeon experience and skills remain key factors of the effective renal parenchymal reconstruction, running sutures, particularly using barbed wires, seems to allow for shorter operative times and ischemia times. A further advantage could derive from avoiding a double layer suture. The present review highlights the key technical principles of renorophy techniques during minimally invasive partial nephrectomy and proposes a set of renorophy features that we believe should be routinely reported in partial nephrectomy data sets to allow for granular data collection.